Good afternoon, everybody. It's a hot, sunny day here in Idaho. Thought I'd take this opportunity and make a little video for you. Um, first off, I'm going to get it started right. You know the drill. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell for notifications. This is Dandy. She's my uh, mannequin here today. She's going to help me out with the saddling video. I'm going to make a video today to show you how I saddle my mules with a riding saddle and a few of the ins and outs of the saddles that I use. Apologize in advance. I kind of live near a road here and it's kind of busy. So once in a while there'll be cars traveling by. But anyway, tune in and I'll show you everything that I do on a riding saddle. First thing, of course, we want to do is make sure we're all brushed off good. There's no burrs or anything. It's going to get in the road. Here in our breast collar is where it's going to go. We want that to be clean. Down here where the cinch is going to go, we want that to be clean. And of course, back here where the britching goes, we want that to be all cleaned off too. Anyway, we'll brush her off or curry comb her off, whichever is your fancy, on both sides. Anyway, once she's all clean and nice, then we're ready to put the pad saddle pad on. So there's a lot of different pads out there and you can use whichever ones you like. Um, today I'm putting on a Wonder Pad. It's a nice thick wool pad, but it's got neoprene on the bottom. And it'll make her back sweat and it'll just kind of help with that saddle sitting on there. But I've used full wool pads. There's just whatever you like. Um, some mules tolerate pads different than others. Um, some will make them sore, some won't. But this one works really good for this mule. I'm gonna put that saddle pad right there right about the top of her withers, just a little in front of her shoulder. Now ready to swing that saddle on. All right, so I've got my saddle. Just gonna swing it up and over the top of her. Here we go, darling. You see about where I've got that saddle, the horn's just a little bit behind her withers. And uh, I've got all my stuff tied up here so it stayed out of the road when I put it on. So I'll get it all undone show you how I put it on. All right, so my breast collar is ready to go. Get my ladder goes down here. Of course, the britching will get it to the back. I'll go over a few of these parts with you as we get going here. But, uh, just start with the front cinch. Now there's something on all my saddles, I ride a double rig. A lot of riding saddles will have a front cinch, they'll have a belly strap. That belly strap will keep your saddle from tipping up. But in the steep and rugged mountains that we ride in all the time, we're gonna use a double cinch. I'll show you that here as I get cinching it up. But Just gonna snug that up here a little bit. So this isn't a belly strap, this is an actual double cinch. And the reason I like the double cinch is for spreading out the surface area and it holds my saddle a little better with a little less opportunity to soar, soar them up with just a single cinch. Of course we got a britching that we're going to be riding with here. That'll hook right there on that back cinch. Snug this up just a little bit more. Okay. We don't need it super tight right now. We're just gonna saddle it up. As I load her in the trailer and we get going, she'll relax down and I'll have to tighten that cinch up just a little bit more. So there's my cinch, double cinch. Now I'll try and do this and stay out of the way of the camera. The breast collar I use is kind of a tug style breast collar. It anchors right here on both sides, goes around her neck and then down under. And I'll hook that down there on the ring, but it just goes over each shoulder. Kind of like a tug on a workhorse as they're pulling through. Anyway, that seems to work really well to keep my saddle from sliding back. The other thing is I like riding with tapaderos. These are super lightweight taps that I've built out of a 
a rubber coated uh, polyester canvas. Super lightweight, sheds the water, keeps the snow off my toes. So I'll uh, go through the britching next for you. So I got my britching in about the right place. This hip pad is right up here on the top. About the splitting the difference between there and the base of the tail. Um, you can see I've got it kind of about parallel to the ground. As far as uh, tightness, I want about four fingers in their space between the britching and her rear end. That'll give me some slop as I go down here, it'll get tight. My breast collar will loosen up and as I go uphill, breast collar will get tight and this will come back. But that's what I found is about works right. You want this parallel to the ground. If you work on these uh, quarter straps here, you can get that angle just about right. If you get it too high, it'll dig into her. If you get it too low, the top of it'll dig into her. So that's about right where I want it. Now I ride a britchin. I don't use a crouper. In this steep, miserable country that I spend a lot of time in, a crouper wears their tail out. They get sores and really soared up around their base of their tail really good. But britchin just is a lot more distribution of the weight. It's not uh, pivoting on one point. Um, the other thing is I'll uh, I have a piggin on here, and then I'll I'll have a, a rope, a lead rope that'll run between my saddle mule and my pack string. Um, I'll go over this in another video. I've got a lot of requests on how I string my mules together, but I'll show that to you. But anyway, I have a pigtail breakaway on here and uh, a rope that goes on that. All my saddles have hardware on them and I'll run these double snaps. That'll snap a, a rifle scabbard on, a trail saw, saddlebags will hook here and on the other side. Um, you can see I've got another one of those up here in the front, you know, where my saw or my scabbard's gonna hook. I ride with my scabbard on the left side, so I'll just sling my scabbard right there underneath my fender. I'll show you that also in another video, but just showing you how my saddle's rigged. All right, we've got Dandy all saddled. I'll go through the process and show you how I unsaddle her. Start with, I unhook the uh, snap off of the, the cinch this front tug here and then I'm gonna put these up around my saddle horn flip up a stirrup undo the cinch I know some people will do them up here I just flip mine up over the top same here on this back one take my, br my britching off my other latigo just flips up over the top. I'm going to put my rope from my uh, piggin up over my horn. Britchin's going to go up there into the saddle. Pop around to this side. I'm going to put my cinch up over the horn. And then what I do is I just take these latigos right here and tie everything in place. Okay, and that keeps all my breast collar, um, my britching, my cinch, my lead rope that hooks onto my pigtail out of the way. And I can just pop it off and I'm good to go. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Hopefully you found something here that you can use and that you like. Once again, hit that button for me if you would. I'd appreciate it. Leave me some comments, some feedback. Anyway, stay tuned for another video. I'll work on some more for you. Thanks for watching.